Hello everyone, this is Lash and today I'm going to be showing you one of the best methods to farm gold, especially once the new vibes comes in. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to kill the two bosses in Goblin Caves, which is Troll and Cyclops. And I'm going to be showing it on my Barbarian. I believe whenever you're playing a Barbarian, people are less likely to fight you in Goblin Caves. They usually are not that cocky towards you as well. So it's one of the best classes to actually farm these bosses as, because you're also chunky. There is a feeling of safety when you kill these bosses, because not everyone can just face roll you and kill you easily. Once, you know, a boss dies and they come in and look at you, you're going to realize that you're a challenge and not just a rogue who's going to get two tapped by them. Your biggest counter while doing troll is clerics. If they do come in and fight you, there is a high chance that they can easily kill you because clerics during their abilities are really hard to kill. So I suggest if they ever use their abilities, just use Achilles Strike and run away from them until it's out. But regardless, try to be friendly with everyone in the map because your goal here is not to PvP unless they really want to kill you. So Troll is the first one I want to go with because Troll Pelt and Troll Blood are like higher chance drops from this boss. So I want to get this one down first in case someone else is having the same plan as me. Obviously I will fight for the boss if someone is actually farming it. I will try and kill that person. I will not just back off and let them have it. So I'm not going to go too in depth with how to kill these bosses. You can just watch how I play them. I don't really like doing the risky methods with Troll and Cyclops. I just do the simple method with going left on Troll and going right on Cyclops. It is going to be less likely to get hit by them and a lot safer. So I just choose that method since I'm a Barbarian and my move speed is atrocious while I'm having a weapon out. Especially once I swing, the boss can easily reach out to me and hit me. Therefore I just choose the best methods to kill them. Or easiest that is. Troll consists of only two abilities anyways, and then the other smash, but in general he's really easy and fast to kill. It's just that if someone tries to fuck with you during the fight, the boss could easily turn back on you, breath you and kill you. If you know how to position yourself around him once he's about to do the right swing, you can't really die ever to him after his breaths, but it's really risky. I suggest never being in the situation of Brett. You already saw me there a minute ago that I dodged it, but it's all about positioning and having like many hours into the game to learn the fight. So if in case someone is coming in and bothering you, you have an idea of how to actually dodge that ability. But in general, this is a really slow way of killing it. I'm also using Zweihander with um, Iron Will because I want to be like as chunky as I can be against casters. Since any plate user is not going to be a threat to me, unless it's a cleric. But if I ever get ganked, there is... I don't know how to explain this, but there is a feeling of safety when I'm playing Barbarian. I'm never scared when I'm in this room, or even if I'm in the loot room. I always know that I'm not an easy kill to them. And they have to actually fight for it, unlike a rogue. I will put a clip of rogue here for you guys just to see how sad, scary it is to be a rogue and be in this room while a barbarian is rushing your face. But yeah, the boss die is really... I wouldn't say quick, but it's in a good time. You don't really have to rush these bosses. I would also not suggest going for axe spec, because if you try and play with really cannon mode and just be a glass cannon almost everyone can kill you as a barb right now i'm actually kind of defensive against mages and warlocks and at the same time i'm high hp for a fighter or like a ranger or anything to come in and bother me therefore i'm not that afraid of them but anyways i check the chest i check the stone door in case someone killed cyclops already then i make my way to the cyclops if this one isn't dead And as I said, try to always avoid PvP as much as you can. 
there is literally no reason to actually fight people if your goal is to farm gold. But do know that everyone is gonna try and go after you once they know that you're killing bosses because people will assume that you have troll blood or maybe troll pelt. I tried to be friendly with this guy but he didn't want to so I had to just get rid of him. Sometimes it's a waste of time to actually get into PvPs because barbarians don't really kill bosses that fast. So I need all the time I have in the world to go ahead and mine. But at least this guy had like maybe 700 gold of worth of items in his bag so it wasn't that bad of an idea to kill him. But I usually just dodge them and move on to the next boss. Preferably you want to have Cyclop down by the 5 minute mark. If he's dead after the 5 minutes mark, there is no way you can actually get all the mines before it's over. But as I said, I won't really go too deep into details with how to kill the bosses. Just know that on Troll you go left, and on Cyclops you go right. They're really simple bosses, but if you're a Barbarian, which is like the safest class to actually kill these bosses, you don't really want to do the risky methods with moves and speed that you have, unless you're really geared. Also, the reason I'm doing this in normal is because, in general, people in high roller always aim to kill bosses, so you won't even be like maybe two people in there. You're gonna be fighting at least five people at a time, every time around the boss room in high roller. Therefore, my choice is just being here instead. Cyclops has gotten really easy since you can see the rubble falling down, so it's not a big of a challenge of a boss, the challenge is actually troll since uh, any moment someone comes in you're just gonna get griefed heavily by them. Also if you ever took damage from Cyclops or troll and you survived it, do not kill the boss, heal to top first, cause you never know if someone is behind those doors and waiting to kill you. And their best wish is that you're low HP while killing the boss. So you will see me breathing here and actually getting a hit by the boss. Never do that, like there is no point in doing that. And once I see the boss is about to phase, I just get him to be, you know, after this phase and I won't hit him anymore because I want to top my HP first. So here I just make sure that he's down, bandage a bit, look at the door. I mainly look at the door a lot because Taku has been in my games many times and I kind of know him for all these griefing bosses now at this point. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing that I legit know half the people who I play with in the Goblin Caves. Because it, it does mean that the game is so dead that I'm literally seeing the same people every day. But yeah, he blesses me with the troll blood, which is nice. Then I get onto the job. As I said, 5 minutes mark exactly. I check the chest in case there is a royal or something in it. And here's the tricky part. Remember that once you kill the boss, the person who is on the other side waiting for you to kill it is going to be much faster than you. Always check their door first. And if you see the door is closed, just have your back to it. Because people might come from your side. And every time you break an ore and finish that node, just double check the doors again. You never know if someone is creeping on you. But that's why I choose Barb to play. Because even if people team on me, even if they are strong classes, I can just press an Achilles throw an axe at them or hit them with my sword and immediately dip if I know that I'm losing in that fight. But if you were a hunter or rogue or even a, I don't know, like warlock fighter or anything, you could easily die to anyone. It's only barb that can survive and dip. And it's only because of the high health, high magic res, high PDR. So it's a really nice class. I don't want to force you guys to actually play the class if you don't really want to, but in my opinion, after 500 hours of Barbarian, I would say it's the best option to do the bosses with. 
especially once the vibe comes. But just do know that like everyone is gonna have the same thoughts as you. This method has been a thing for many weeks now. Ever since gold ore has been a exclusive item here, it's just the norm now that everyone wants to kill the two bosses and go down there. So remember that once the wipe comes, this is not gonna have it looks like. Like this is an uncontested farm right now. So just be careful out there. But anyways, that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I didn't give much of an info on how to dodge the bosses or how to do them. If you really enjoyed the video here, I would probably make a guide for it and show you guys how troll is done and how cyclops is done in different methods and not only the safe method. So go ahead and like the video, share it if you would like to, comment down below if it helped you. And I will see you guys in the next vibe.